uh, in question number 143 uh, the two vectors a and b are given since both vectors are orthogonal so their dot product will be zero and after taking the dot product we get cos omega t minus omega t by 2 because that is the formula okay equal to cos pi by 2 after solving we get t equal to pi by 2 and correct answer is 4. In question number 144 it is given that we are provided with a source that is emitting a waves of frequency 100 hertz and from that source is at some distance is an observer that is standing at some distance away and is stationary. So a diagram is also given in the question that we have a sound source, we have an observer. The observer is stationary so the speed of the observer will be zero. Now a source has been said to be moving at an angle of 60 degree with the line joining the source and the observer and it is moving with the speed Vs. Now the speed Vs in the question is given to be 19.4 meters per second. Now it has been asked when the source moves at an angle of 60 degree with the line joining the source and the observer what will be the apparent frequency observed by an observer. So as we know that the apparent frequency is given by n dash is equals to actual frequency n then the speed of the sound that is v as the speed of the observer is given to be 0 because the observer is at rest. So we are taking the speed of v naught to be 0. Now v that is speed of sound minus v s cos 60 degree because it has been said that the source is moving with the speed of 19.4 meter per second making an angle of 60 degree with the line joining the source and the observer. So we need to take the component of the speed along the Doppler line or the line joining the source and the observer. So the formula will be n dash equals to n v upon v minus v s cos 60. Now substituting the values as given the n is equals to 100, the v is equals to 330 as given divided by 330 minus v s as given 19.4 and cos of 60 is half. If you will solve this, this will come out to be 9.7 approximately 10. So 330 minus of 10 that will be 320. 330 upon 320 will be approximately greater than 1. So the answer will be approximately greater than 100. So the answer if we solve comes out to be is equals to 103 hertz. So according to the option of question number 44 the answer is third.